It was very interesting. Kennedy was totally inner-directed, and Nixon was totally outer-directed. Kennedy, he didn't want he didn't want you to tell him. Uh, he'd tell you, "Let's let's go, let's shoot, let's do it," you know. And uh, and uh, no, he was second. Kennedy was second because I wanted to get a picture of uh, uh, of the little girl asleep upstairs because we'd had the Nixon girls on the previous week, and Jacqueline wouldn't hear of it. But when I suggested it to Kennedy, he was enough of a politician that he said, why, we could probably do that. So she okayed it for five minutes. They grabbed one of those big black and white cameras. There was a big bull, one of the cameramen, and grabbed it and ran up the stairs with the cable trailing him. And another guy with a sun gun lamp and shined it on her. And, the, and Mrs. Kennedy came up next to the crib, and there was a couple of lines, and we got out. But Kennedy told you he was, he boom. Nixon, on the other hand, was all questions. Should I cross my legs? Do I look better this way, or should I lean in, or am I talking to, am I loud enough? Or what do you suggest? He wanted you to tell him everything. But after you've seen all the stuff about him, it seems strange that he was, to me, that he was so obsequious and sort of kind, frightened almost of, of, the, of the television monster. But there was a big difference between the two guys when you turned the lights on.